Yes, uh, welcome to this tutorial. This is our lesson number eight. Now, today in this particular lesson, we are going to look at a new object. Remember, I told you in the very beginning that uh, we have several objects that we're going to look at. The, the very first one was the table. We then looked at a form. We looked at a report. And then today we are yet going to look at another object. And this object is called the query. So in tutorial number eight, we are going to look at the queries. Remember, uh, in these queries, we are first of all going to look at what a query is. Now, just by definition, uh, a query is like a question that we ask database in case we want particular kind of data to be retrieved. Taking an example where we could be having a school database and we want to get out particular students from the class. Maybe a database is having classes from senior one to senior six, but then it may be very, very difficult to go and access data of a particular student. If at all, we have to scroll through the uh, whole database. It may be very hard. So database gives us the opportunity to use queries to be able to retrieve the data that we want. And in this case, uh, a query becomes the question that you ask a database to help you retrieve or return the data that you want particularly. And now we are going to look at uh, basically three kinds of queries that we are going to put our emphasis on. The very first one that I'm going to explain is a text query. Then I'm going to explain what we call the number queries, and we are going to find a look, look at what we call the date queries. And then later on, we are going to look at how to use wildcards in queries. Now, just one thing that we need to know is uh, that every kind of query has a different approach that we use when we are working them out. And we are going to look at one at a time so that we exhaust all of them. And now, let's get started from where we stopped last time. Now, looking at this question that we had previously, we looked at this database called Ibusuju GP, and uh, it's not the question that we are supposed to approach, but we are going to look at this database and the very first thing we are going to look at is how to create a query. Which steps do we take when we are creating a query? Where do we go? When we shall finish establishing that, then we shall be able to go and start creating the queries. Now, let's uh, get to the database that we created for this particular question and see what we need to do to be able to create a query. Now, here is the database that we created for that question that has been right there. So, when you look at this database, all the records are here. And now, supposing this database or this table had a thousand entries or a thousand records you find that it would be very very hard for someone to retrieve a particular individual and so that's when we bring in the queries to help us return those that we want particularly now let's have a look at how to create the queries <coughs> Like any other object that we looked at, for example, a table, a form, and a report, even queries are created from the tab create. So our tab is here, create. We go to create. And in this case, we basically use what we call the query design. Now, when you click on query design, that's the interface that database brings you. Now, this interface is brought with tables, queries, and both. Now, if you go to tables, all the tables in a database will be displayed. For this case, we only have one table in our database, and that's why it's displaying as a basic data table. Then, if there were any queries in this database, they would also display right here. And finally, 
this option combines all of them the basic uh, the tables and the queries they would all display that means you can create a query from a table a query from a query or a query from both a query and a table now let's go to tables you can see that we only have one table in our database now for you to be able to get the fields from the table you first add it so we go and add our table now having added our table we come and close off this dialog so our table is right here and indeed when you check through this table all our fields are therein we have fisherman id name sex date of birth contact and district now that implies we can add any queries that we, I mean any fields that we want. It's also possible to add one field and leave the other or add all the fields depending on what the question has asked you to do. For instance, if this question requires us to add all the fields, we go and start clicking, double clicking on each field. Then it appears down. You can check where it is going. And all the fields have been added they are added down here right here and down there indicating the field is fisherman ID from which table basic data all that there is only one table that implies if you added two tables and you add the fields from the two different tables then the table name has to also be specified right here at this point well now that is if we are required to add all the tables and I mean all the fields but what if we do not need all the fields maybe let's just go and remove all of them all those that we've added I can go and remove all of them maybe we are required to add just particular fields fisherman ID maybe date of birth and the district maybe that is what is required for this query we have added only the three the others have not been added so it depends on what the question has asked from you you go and add that particularly nothing else that is also another point uh, what if you also know that you're supposed to add all the fields and you don't want to disturb yourself adding one field at a time just go double click on the table and drag it from that point from this point and drop it then all the fields have been added at once that is if you're going to add all the fields so that is the basic way of creating the queries in database and so having reached that point we are now ready to go and see how to start creating the queries and in our next lesson we are going to start by looking at what we call the text queries have a blessed day that is the end of this tutorial let's wait for the next tutorial thank you for listening